Good afternoon, everyone. Well, good afternoon, Norma. Where you at? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> we, we had a bet going. I hope everybody's having an awesome day, really. Uh, this is Joshua with the Sewing and Vacuum Authority, and it is Tuesday at 2-ish. What, what do we got? About 3? 3.30-ish. Three hey, I think we were 4 o'clock last yeah, time, yeah. so we're, we're going in the right direction. Progress. Oh, yeah. hello, Susan. You beat Norma to it. How are you today? So we're going to have some fun today with Linda Carr as well. Let me turn the camera around quickly. Hi, Linda. Hey, how you doing today? Doing well. Awesome. I'm going to take it off of you just for a second. We're going to wait just a moment and let some people jump in here Okey so we can, we can learn some stuff from you. Um, let me just walk over here. Let's see. Hi, Harriet. What does that say? Ish covers everything. <laughs> 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 Barbara's laughing. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that means everything from noon on. <laughs> noon on? Oh, ish covers everything. Oh, yeah. Right over my head. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right, Harriet. Uh, let me uh, show you guys. In case you didn't come in on Friday or Saturday, which we were bombarded, very happily so, with you folks coming in and getting as much of this line as possible. And I think four bolts are completely gone. There's still plenty left. That's what I wanted to show you. The Curious and Curier, curious and Curiouser line is here, and there still is fabric left on the bolt. But be careful, because that woman right over there loves no, tool. You all I know do Barbara. love tool pink. <laughs> Rightfully so. This line is awesome, and I just wanted to show you we do have some left. So if you love Tula like we do, you better hurry up and come on over and get some. So. All right, so let, let's get to it. Let's get to some sewing. All right, Linda, it's on you. And by the way, if the audio is in any point uh, hard to hear, please just let us know. Hey, Kathleen. Okay, so today we're going to do, I keep forgetting the name of the project, Meadow Slumber Pillow. And I, as usual, I found it on Bernina's website, We All Sew. They have the greatest projects You've really. You've done a lot of cute stuff. In I life. have and the reason I chose this one number one I need a new travel pillow because <laughs> hey we're all traveling again. That's right. All of us need new travel pillows. It's been a couple of years so anyway I found this and I like this because it was it was a, a little bit different than just the little pillowcase with the band on it and you know it had a little more work to it. It's also got some quilting on it. The top uh, layer is quilted. Let's see if you guys can see. I love the fabric choices too. Well, and my other thought was we have all these great fabric groupings and yeah. um, it, it takes five different fabrics. So I've got the, yeah, this one, the little cross hatch, the stra two strawberries, two different colorways. And then what? The, the real the, pretty oh, the thing on the back and then my binding was a stripe. Yeah. So we have a lot of groups that you can make some adorable pillows and it doesn't take much. I mean, you can make several pillows out of you know, well, a I few three-eighths of a yard right. of fabric, yeah. So, a awesome. great gift. Uh, my granddaughter saw me working on it, and she loved it, and I was thinking that the one I'm making today, I can I could do her name or initials in one of these. Um, Absolutely, little spots or panels little there. areas, so anyway, just All to right. show you how fun and easy it is. So, what, what we, if you'll look it up on We Also, Meadow Slumber Pillow, it is actually, was linked to the fat quarter shop. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, and we certainly want you to buy your fabric here, but right. <laughs> um, they have a great blog called The Jolly Jabber that has some fabulous, fabulous projects. And oh, so cool. it, the We All Sew article actually links to the one on The Jolly Jabber. So, so like, did, can this project be done with just fat quarters? Is that, is that I why think so, was, probably. I well, probably not the back. But oh, right, um, right. yeah, everything else could Close for enough. sure. Yeah, okay. yeah. So That's anyway, but as I said, we've got some great groupings, very summery looking that you would love. And yeah, we have uh, spring stuff left. We've got yeah. summer stuff. We've yeah. got a lot of really. This is called lively. Sunday Stroll, and actually April did her quilt using the same fabric on Saturday, That's but right. she used totally different fabrics. That's so. right. The, the collection <laughs> is actually pretty large. It and is. So That's it pretty is. cool. You both chose it with different lines. Yep. So yep. Shout out to April. What what April's craft corner? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so how do we make it? Actually, you cut, as I said, these four pieces right here. 
I, I don't remember the dimensions, but if you go, go to the article, it will tell you. So you're just doing these four yep. strips. Yep. I'm sewing these four together. And then you cut a little flange that's one inch and fold it in half, press it in half. So I have that already pinned in between my two layers of fabric. I'm using the number 97 foot. If you have a um, four, five, seven, or eight series for Nina, this is wonderful because it rides on your, or a nine millimeter machine, it, it rides on your feed dogs. I'm using the D version, which means I can use my dual feed, which I absolutely love, so. pins out before you get there though. Speaking of tulip pink, check that beautiful machine out. Don't get your hopes up. I think this one's spoken. <laughs> this before, one's sold. But this one's sold. But look at that. Anyway, but look how that cute one? that looks with the little flange in there and that's so easy to do. You just layer it between your two layers of fabric. So Hopefully I help. Hopefully you guys could see that. So there it is. Super easy. So I will go ahead and do another one. And if you don't want to watch me pin, you can go walk around the store. Walk around the store walk. and pin it up. Well, well I, I pin. Just okay, well, I tell you what. You see that? She was telling me to leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I'm playing. Um, so while we're doing that, while, while Linda's pinning that up, um, in case you didn't get a chance to see this here, we have some upcoming classes that are going to be a ton of fun. There's actually a couple of other classes, and I'm going to do a separate little video um, as well. We have a in the hoop class that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll do a little separate video about that, um, or excuse me, uh, on that. Uh, that is on the 12th. So I will. Um, uh, I'll give you some more information on that, but we got a lot of really fun classes. We're trying to get back in the swing of things. You know, we're still being safe, but we want you guys to come into the store and see us. And what better way to do it than having group classes? Um, that's a quote by Miss Mary Bauer, which will be doing uh, a couple of classes for us. She's doing a lecture on the 19th, I believe. Uh, it's not on our calendar, but yeah, so that's going to be a free lecture uh, with Mary Bauer. And if you not had the pleasure to meet Mary, uh, you really are missing out. She's phenomenal and very, very talented. We are thrilled to have her. I'm just going to go are. ahead and pin both pieces together Okay. so that I can get this done more quickly. Pin, pin, pin. Pin, pin, pin. Hi, Kathleen. Haven't seen you in a long time. Hold on, let me flip the camera around. Hope you've been well. Hi, Judy. Who else is on here? Hey, Nadine. Hey, hey uh, uh, Sue's on here. I think you said hello to everybody else. Judy. Sorry, I missed you, Judy. Oh, Norm is missing out today. This is a first. Yes, it is. Now? Well, tell him that Norma came in. Norma, I got <laughs> to meet Norma. She came in and introduced herself. I thought that was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today, in case you're just joining us, is Linda is giving us the, yep. the tutorial the know-how on how to make this awesome little travel pillow. So, and we do have this fabric line in in stock. It's called Sunday Stroll Sunday by Mo Stroll. Moda. Yeah, it is Moda. That's right. Yeah. All right. So she's done pinning. It looks like. I am. So we're getting back to it. Mm, where's the little? So quiet. <laughs> she is. She, she is just attached the quiet. four little sections there. Is that, yeah, you just, just sew the right four there. sections together like I did. Yeah, she's attached. She's basically just doing these four sections straight across. Boy, this machine sews nice. 
Yeah, well, that's, that's obviously it's not such a good meaning, but it, it seems really quiet, really smooth. Absolutely. What do they say? Nothing sounds like a Bernina? Nothing? <laughs> that was their tagline yeah, for a long time. Say, yeah. I think it's made to create now is the slogan, but. Which I like as well. Yeah. Okay. Done. So this is very fast, too, very quick. So you're just going to go to your ironing board. And the, I think, how did I iron those? I can't remember which way they are. I did them to the Oh, they, you go, they go to the outside. The two outside ones go to the outside, to the, to the fabric you have two pieces yeah. of. And I don't think it matters which way the inner one goes. Okay, and then this is the fun part, which I would not have thought of when I was doing just a little travel pillow, but can you, let me see if I can grab that. You actually quilt the top. So I've got my batting and my backing. Lay this on top. Sounds like Barbara's sewing out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, Barbara, you're not making. You're too not much making noise. too much noise. We're just making conversation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use a little 505 here. So let me ask you with that 505 spray. Um, I used it once, and I don't think I uh, applied it enough. Uh, how quickly does it adhere? Pretty fast. Pretty immediate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I must not have used it quite. This is not going the right way. Okay. So you spray it on there. And uh -huh. it, it does. You I mean, don't have to iron it. I'm up. just ironing it to make sure those seams are going the right way. Right. Okay. okay. And then what I'm going to do is just come over here and do five lines of quilting. because I love my dual feed. You know, I think we used the 10 foot, which I did not get. Um, so, I forgot to bring one over here. But you just go like an eighth of an inch. I think I can just use my foot to, to get there. I can just use can, that. But end. what you're saying is that it yeah. would be ideal if you use Yeah, it's better. I, I think when I did my sample, I used the number 10 foot, which has the flange in the middle. Right. So you put the flange down and move your needle two spots to the right. Yeah, or if you don't have a Bernina, it's the guide foot. Right? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, you can, there, yeah, you can do it with, with any machine. So if I need to. Thank you. Lengthen your stitch length to 3.5. There's Norma. Oh, goody. <laughs> my thread. What's wrong with my thread? We wouldn't be alive if we didn't have thread problems. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. So you didn't even change of, anything. That's what's funny. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it came unthreaded. That's probably. <laughs> now, I'm sure nobody else does this. No. <laughs> but I think I will rethread my machine. I'm going to rethread it. Uh, yeah. Hi, Norma. Yeah, we were talking about you. Uh, they beat you to it today, but that's all right. Better late than never. It was really nice to meet you the other day. We, I was telling Linda about that. We thought that was really fun. <laughs> Again. The ease of threading these machines, I tell you. So you're just coming in just a little bit. 
And then you do that on both sides. You, you're going to go on the other side of the flange, which is loose, but you're going to use your, let's see, I'm going to go this way. Quilting it down. And so you do that for each. Um, you do that for each side. Yeah. So I'm not going to do the whole thing right now. But what I'll do. Just get a close up of what you did just to, so I can show them. And you can see it on the on my sample as well. Oh, yeah. So then you just take. You trim it down, cut your excess batting away, and then take your backing, which is two 23 by 13 inch pieces, and you overlap those four inches. And then just stitch all the way around, trim the excess away. Well, you, you would trim your excess away here, and then right. when you sew your backing on then you would trim it again and then you stitch this is really counterintuitive because we're so used to doing pillowcases where you stitch them and turn them right. we're not turning anything so you'll stitch around the outside about a fourth of an inch away and then you'll add your binding so you just start you know in the middle fourth of an inch and then that'll just wrap around but isn't that a neat way to that do it? So and then your opening is here to uh, put your pillow form in. There was my question. Okay. Yeah. So on the yeah. back where you're overlapping, that's yeah. What that's so you don't have to put any buttons. I mean, it's really a fast project. Yeah. I thought it was lots of fun and really cute. And I'm gonna go put it in my car. I was gonna say it's great. <laughs> yeah. But it's very quick. I mean, you can do it easily in an evening. I mean, th what takes the longest is to sew the binding. Because oh. I do that by hand, and I think that's what they recommend. Oh, but we also Meadow Slumber Pillow, and then that'll link you to the Jolly Jabber on Fat Quarter Shop on the Fat Quarter Shop. That's right. And or and come, come in and try and some of our gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. I would say come get some Fat Quarters from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I've already got my eye on several different groups to do these <laughs> pillows. These are great gifts. And yeah, they are. And I'll show it to you one more time. And as usual, I just appreciate you taking the time to let me let me film you and you just teach us something. My pleasure. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. I love it. So. I love I love finding different things to show, and as does Barbara, to find you all, find yeah. to show you all. Absolutely. You know, things that get uh, capture our imagination, and we think they'll capture yours as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. And thank all of you. Oh, hold on. Let's see. What is Kathleen asking? Would you all do a class for the Christmas napkins, but with a summer theme? Barbara? Sure. <laughs> Kathleen, I'll have to remember which Christmas <laughs> napkins you're talking about. I think the ones that kind of, kind of the... No, I did that. No, I oh, Barbara did that. Yeah, well, she on. did. You stay. That's why I'll I said Barbara. You, so. yeah. All right, we'll say goodbye, Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, Linda. Um, I'm going to go find out, Kathleen. Hold on. We're going to go right to the source. Judy? Hey, Chris? Hey, well, okay, I said hello to me. Okay, everybody else, I think. Hold on. Hello. Now you're on. All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, so Kathleen was asking, would you do a class for the Christmas napkins, but with a summer theme? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, so they're fun to do. Christmas napkins. Was that the... The folded ones? The oh, little, like, Christmas the trees? trees? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Now he remembers, guys. I do Christmas trees. <laughs> I need pictures. I need images. <laughs> Just to paint the picture. Shape of a tree. Yeah, Kathleen, that's what Barbara's saying. She, absolutely. Um, well, there's an idea for you, Barbara, for a uh, Tuesday at 2-ish. Yeah, well, I'll do that next Tuesday. How about that? Whoa, boom. See that, Kathleen? Ask and you shall receive. Hey, what more can you ask for? <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Okay. We'll see Barbara next week. Yeah, that's right. Actually, yeah. you guys should come in and see Barbara before then. She's been hanging out with us at the store a lot more often, and we appreciate it. So, um, Let's see. Yes, the fall one. Yeah, that'll be fun. So she'll do that next Tuesday. Good idea. We appreciate it. Um, you guys, hold on one sec. If you haven't been to the store recently, I just wanted to show you some of the machines that we got set up. We've got some multi needles that I'm really excited about. Our Husqvarna Viking line is growing. Um, sorry, the machines aren't actually turned on right now. 
We've been super busy, and so shame on me. But we've got an awesome lineup. The six, uh, the 690Q. Uh, this is the newest one. What is this? This is the, oh yeah, this is the Topaz 50. An awesome machine, uh, embroidery. This here is the Brilliant 75Q. See, shame on me. I don't know the names of these yet. How bad is that? Oh yeah, this is the Sapphire 85. I do know that. The Epic 2, the spaceship, which the first time I saw this, I was just kind of floored. This machine is phenomenal. And then of course, over this way, we have the newest Husqvarna Viking machine. This is the Ruby 90. And we did some training on this, and I mean, the, the stitch quality of this machine, the embroidery is absolutely gorgeous. This machine is killer. Uh, we do have some sales going on, uh, going on right now, and, and these new uh, Vikings are included. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I've been seeing a lot of familiar faces, so we appreciate you continuing, continuing to uh, come in and support the new store. We really appreciate it, but we're going to keep doing these. Oh, you're all right. So away. We're going to keep doing these and, and have fun with these uh, projects, and I'm going to keep showing you the new stuff, new fabric, all sorts of stuff. So uh, thanks for joining us, you guys. We'll see you next Tuesday at 2-ish. Um, if you have any questions or if you'd like us to do any um, specific um, types of demonstrations like Kathleen recommended and suggested, feel free to, to, to call us. Come in and see us. That's what we always prefer. Um, but we're, we're happy to do anything that we can to help and also just to um, have fun. Tell Kathleen she might come in for a lesson. I'll be glad to show her. And Kathleen, Barbara just told me to tell you, if you would like to come in for a lesson, she'd be happy to do a one-on-one. -on -one, so feel free to reach out. Hmm. All right, well, you guys have an awesome day. Stay safe, and hopefully we will see you soon. Look for the video uh, on the uh, specific classes, the new classes. But we've got a ton coming. So again, we, we appreciate you joining us, and you guys have an awesome day. Take care.